Is that your PIN number? It's frightening. Meet Australia's number one con man. Tonight he reveals the tricks of his trade. I'll get your cash, credit card, wallet, nothing safe around me. And he can steal every cent you have within seconds. You won't believe the tactics and how easy it is. Hello, I'm Naomi Robson. How to keep your financial details safe and secure in a moment. But first to just how easy it is for you to lose every cent you have. Networks of thieves are now at their most active, having already stolen more than $11 million from savings accounts. And they'll often target you at shopping centres, striking at ATMs, getting your card, your PIN and your cash. Even the Qantas Frequent Flyer program has been infiltrated, with crooks targeting the website to determine which houses will be empty and when. And tonight, Brian Seymour goes on the job with Australia's number one con man to show you just how vulnerable you are. Uh, unfortunately, this is a scam. It's 100% fake. It's completely rigged. Sorry about that, mate. You fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book. Is that your PIN number? I'll get your cash, credit card, wallet, Nothing safe around me. Australians, be warned. We are now entering the time of the year when con men are most active. Desperate for your money. This is another scam done by pickpockets. The idea is that as soon as you see a sign like this, you check your valuables and then the pickpocket knows exactly where to find your wallet. All they need are a few details and we're about to see how easily we hand them over. And you don't even know until it's too late. I'm a, a combination between a magician and a con man. When it comes to scams, this man is not to be trusted. So I take the skills of magicians, but I use them to con people and to scam them and to educate them. Don't let Nicholas Johnson's boyish looks fool you. This master magician is also a master con man. Well, sort of. The man they call Tricky Nicky calls himself Australia's honest con man. A magician and performer who lives by one rule. Every single person in the world is a potential sucker. We are about to put that theory to the test, unleashing Nicholas on an unsuspecting public here in a busy tourist spot. His first target your PIN number. I think the main aim for today is to show people exactly what sort of cons are out there and how easy it is for ordinary people to be fooled. In the last year there were over 7,000 stolen PIN numbers used with stolen cards yielding thieves almost 1.3 million dollars. In all nearly 18,000 PIN number scams netting thieves 11.3 million. This is one of the more high-tech scams it's actually somebody entering their PIN number into an ATM. And the way in which we got that is uh, an innocuous looking uh, brochure holder actually has hidden in the side here a small camera. That has on the back uh, a transmitter that goes back, of course, to the laptop where they can get the PIN number. We followed Nicholas as he attached this hidden camera to an inner city ATM. Watch as the camera transmits images of a person putting in their four digit security code straight to his laptop. Seconds later, he pounces. Hi, excuse me. Sorry to stop you. I'd like to ask you a really strange question. Is that your PIN number? Uh, what's going on here? When you're using the ATM over there, there's actually cameras that are watching you and able to get your PIN number from you. And all they've got to do is get the information from your card and then they can get all the money in your bank account. It's frightening. Absolutely frightening. Even more frightening is this device, a credit card skimmer. The skimmer is attached to an ATM where you insert your card. It records and stores the card's information as the magnetic strip runs across it. To be able to take all of the information from your card and then create a copy of your card, use your PIN number and get all of your money. This is called on the street a Lebanese loop. The idea is that it goes in the ATM machine, it then captures your card, which you can't get back, you put in your PIN number a few times, somebody sees how you've done it, then later on they come back, they've got the card, they've got the PIN number and they've got your cash. This scam is very quick, very cheap, but for you, very costly. The con man sprays the keypad with the spray, you come up and use it, punch in your keypad, he comes back after you and sees your fingerprints and there's your PIN in all its glory. Your money, gone. This is a very old scam called the rocks in the box or the pig in the poke. 
And the idea is, in this box, I have a CD player. In this box, I have a rock. Unfortunately, until you open them, you don't know which is which. And I'm going to try and sell someone the CD player and then swap it for the box with the rocks. After a few failed attempts, Nicholas has found his next victim. Come on, 20 bucks. You want 20 bucks, please? Yeah. Oh, I got a 50, Jeff. Um. Our victim has just asked for change. Just the cue Nick needs to make the switch. There you go, all yours, mate. Awesome. By the time our victim realises he's been conned, Nick's long gone. What the hell? Where'd he go? It's a rock in there, man. What's going on? Whenever you buy something, always keep your eye on it. No way! There you go. <laughs> 20 bucks? I, I saw the disc, man. I saw it in there. I swear. I think it's important to remember that anybody can be a con artist and anybody can be a victim and make sure you've got your guard up, you've got your hand on your wallet and uh, you protect your PIN number. So scary how easy it can be. Brian Seymour with that report and the producer was Darren Alley.